To me, the most interesting thing that's happened in the watch industry in the last 10 years has been the advent of major fashion labels getting very seriously into watchmaking, investing millions of buying manufacturers. For example, a company like Hermes within the last year have bought the company that makes the dials, they bought the company that makes the cases that the watches fit into, and they bought a significant portion of the company that makes all the movements. We are trying to be perceived as a true watchmaker. We are proposing now mechanical watches with some original complications. We look at a company like Vuitton, who over the last five years have spent phenomenal amounts of money buying a manufacturer hiring the best people and turning that brand from something that was nothing in the watch industry to something that is a very significant player now. We hope actually that all the watch lovers will be intrigued, impressed and will love our uh, watches. Of course we have a lot of Louis Vuitton lovers coming to our stores and buying our watches but we do have as well watch collectors that are intrigued by the way how we design our watches. A lot of the jewellery makers are also doing the same thing because it's important for them to not ignore the 50% of the population, i.e. men. They have the clients already existing who are prepared to spend serious money. If a man wants to buy his wife a Harry Winston necklace at a quarter of a million dollars, then he's quite evidently in the market for a $100,000 watch for himself. And what's interesting with a lot of these brands who are coming in is they may have a history of 150 years of making bags or trunks or saddles, but they have very little history in watches. So what they have to do is they have to come in with something new. It's a lot of these new entrants into the watch market at the high end who are coming in with some of the most technologically advanced watches. Talking about leather goods, certainly we are at the top of the pyramid. In watches, we had to learn first that, that business and we had to attract some interest from people who can buy uh, Patek Philippe, can buy Breguet, can buy all these big names of the industry. You need to shake up things. You need to bring something new actually. The watch industry is a very old industry and very well established with I iconic pieces and the only way how to do things is to excite the market and our customer with something that has never existed before. Collectors do frown on the new brands, but I believe that there is a generation of people who are more open-minded and will look at Patek and will look at Vuitton and will look at Harry Winston all in the same thing because they, they will look at them and say, this is a really interesting watch.